Hello, busy ladies. Today, we are gonna make a quick and easy cheesecake recipe. Very simple, very easy, takes no time at all. And we're gonna go ahead and get started working on it. But I do wanna say, you know I'm Deb, and you are in the kitchen with Deb, and I'm your personal kitchen consultant. And for those of you that are new that you start following me, thank you. And I'll tell you a little bit about me real quickly. I love helping other busy moms, working women, empty nesters, retirees. I love helping you guys in the kitchen. That is what I love to do. I love organizing it, decluttering it, because I believe every woman deserves a more functional kitchen. And it's a process and something always has to be organized because somebody's always messing it up. I won't say who you know what to do. Anyway, back to this wonderful, fantastic cheesecake recipe. I don't know where I got this recipe from. I found it years ago online. Five ingredients, five. Two boxes of cream cheese, eight ounce. I don't care if it's low fat, one third, sugar free, whatever you need for your family, that's fine. You will need two eggs, five ingredients, that's two. One cup of sugar, three. You can pick out any graham cracker crust you want. Now what I picked out was pumpkin pie spice nut pie crust and diamond makes it. I have not had this yet. I'm trying this today for the first time because my thought is, those of you that know me, I love fall. I love decorating for fall. I love fall, fall foods, fall drinks, pumpkin spice coffee. I love all that. That's me. And decorating for fall if I didn't mention it again, but I'll mention it, but I'll mention it again and again and again. So when I saw pumpkin spice nut pie crust, Oh, I'm gonna pay more for this. I wanna try this. I'm gonna, that way I'll have pumpkin pie spice cheesecake already. Okay, and for our last ingredient we're gonna need is a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. I prefer the pure vanilla. I don't like the imitation. Now this was really easy for me to find in my pantry. And I don't have a walk-in fan pantry, folks. I've got the kitchen cabinet pantry. My bacon, my baking items are all there and my spices. But I have them all organized. Because the more organized you are and you have your pantry organized, it looks aesthetically pleasing. You can get in and get out faster. I found this in no time. I know exactly where it goes to be put back. I'm not rummaging around five minutes looking where is it? Where is it? I can't find it. I And I'm saving on my grocery bill because I'm not buying duplicates. Now, for those of you that need your pantry together, I've got the beginner's guide for organizing your pantry. We cover labeling. We cover pantry safety. We cover the categories. We cover everything in that complete beginner's guide for you. And it even you can even do the same thing in your kitchen cabinets. And boy, will you feel so proud of yourself. You'll be, feel so accomplished and so, so successful for getting that cabinet done. And let's get back to the recipe because I'm getting hungry here. This is, oh, this is so good. Okay, now, to save some time, I, did, I didn't want to be beating the cheesecake on the video. So I did that ahead of time. Now I'm taking off the cover for the pie crust. Now the recipe I have you says you bake it at 325 degrees for 40 minutes. The longest part of this recipe, busy lady, is it has to sit in the refrigerator for three hours. That's the longest time. The prep time is five minutes, no big deal. It has to sit there three hours. That takes the longest. Now did you ever wonder why cheesecake always looks yellow? And cheesecake, cheese, Cream cheese is white. Well, when you think about it, the cheesecake, I mean, this is going to look yellow too. 
is because we're adding the eggs and the eggs have yolk in them. So that's where the cheesecake gets it, its yellow color from, because it's white going in. All right, now I've got this, you can see, I've got this all clearly mixed really good. I'm gonna try, hopefully you guys can see this. I'll tilt the camera a little bit. We're gonna pour it in to the graham cracker crust, the pumpkin pie graham cracker crust. Now, if you're making two pies, of course you double the recipes, you'd need four boxes of cheesecake. So we're gonna get it all out in here. I don't wanna waste any of this. This is, I was really surprised at how good this is. I'm gonna to have to post a picture later. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go live with the results later, because I don't know how busy my household's gonna be, be this evening or after dinner. And plus it's gotta sit in the, in the refrigerator for three hours. So I might not be able to go live with this. And trust me, three hours comes, my family's gonna be all over this pie. It's going to be pretty much gone. Let me get that out of the way. Okay. All right. I'm going to put that in the sink. Okay. Now I'm going to shake this a little. Get the little cheesecake off of the end. Oh, I want to eat it so bad. It's so good, but it's got egg in it. I don't want to do that. Get the cheesecake off the end. Okay, now it's going to cook. I shook, the, shook it a little bit. You can see it's not level. Don't worry about it. What I'm going to do, you don't have to do this. And I forgot to mention this. I like to put my pies on a baking pan. I don't want them spilling in the oven. So I'm going to quickly pop this in the oven. That's in the oven. Now, what I'm going to do, set my timer. It's already set for 40 minutes. We're set to go. I leave this in the kitchen and I can hear it when I'm in the other room. So I'm going to know when this cheesecake is done. Now, I recommend that you try this, Mom, for your family. I think you're going to love it. Hey, Stephanie, nice to see you. It's, like I said, it's very simple, quick to put together. I don't like to take a lot of prep time. I'll go over the five ingredients one more time for you. Two boxes of cream cheese. The graham cracker crust. The one I chose, remember, was pumpkin pie. My cheesecake's going to be pumpkin pie spice cheesecake. Your pure vanilla. I like my pure. One cup of sugar. And two eggs. It took me. And then all you do is beat it together. Throw it in the oven. And like I said, the longest part is waiting to eat it. So ladies, look. Pop in the comments, let me know if you made cheesecake or if you buy it. I'd like to know, I'm curious. And do you, if you think, do you think you could sneak in a chance to make something as simple as this and surprise your family? Or is this, or are you not the dessert baking person? I'm curious to know. And don't forget, Go on my blog, dubstockerlife.com, and you can check out my beginner's guide to setting up your, efficiently setting up your kitchen pantry or kitchen cabinets. It's made for both because I don't have that pantry either, ladies. Mm -mm. And don't forget to join me in my group, Dub Decorative, Dub, Dub's Decorative Life Tips and Inspiration, because come November, we're doing another challenge. And we're voting on that challenge, what that kitchen challenge is going to be because November starts the, with the busy holidays coming up, the Thanksgiving, and we're leading into Christmas. So let's get ready, ladies. Let's get you in that kitchen challenge for next month. And I will see you guys on my page, in my group. I'll see you around. Thanks, ladies.